boom, 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 boom. Welcome back, welcome back to Maurice's Polo Review Channel. Today we'll be talking about what is on my mannequin. Um, we have a new president. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe Biden, and uh, his campaign, the presidential election. Everybody turned out, turned up. So salute to everybody who participated in that. Um, so today let's talk about what's on my mannequin. Today what's on my mannequin is... A green bubble coat. Um, I had this particular bubble coat for, I want to say like five years now. But it's a very nice piece. Um, the green is settled. It ain't necessarily like a neon green, but a settled green. Um, and I matched it with a bear sweater who has the cardigan on, the peewee cardigan, the varsity card cardigan, with along with the polo watch on the side. With um, the prep style, I have a herringbone I'm so I'm assuming herringbone vest with a nice tie. It's um anybody who knows anything about Ralph Lauren knows his bear sweaters are like worldwide. Everybody knows one of these bear sweaters when they seen them. Um, the thing about the bear sweaters it's a knit, heavy material which is great for um fall and winter. Also, if anybody's a connoisseur of Ralph Lauren, you know you seen the bear like go through tra transitions over the years. It went from the big sitting down bear with the white sweater to what we have here as a grown man bear. So you know it's a it's 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 lovely to see um, whoever is uh, doing the fashion design ideas at Ralph Lauren, the way of transitioning everything into a grown bear, which is very dope for those 80 babies like myself. You know, it's just a blessing to see that, especially if you like fashion. Um, I got a white Oxford up under it, and I just throw, throw the the um, green bubble vest on top of it. It's just a clean look. Put on a pair of chinos with it or something like that and just rock out, you know, just mind your business and stay fresh. Put on a dry or blue driver's hat with it and just keep it pushing. Grown man edition, you know, with some nice uh, smell good and keep it moving. Oh, speaking of smell good, I went um, and purchased a new fragrance. Um, my friend bought it. I want to say like seven years ago, and me being the person I am, I didn't purchase it just because he had it. And if we, you know, went out to a sporting event, to a bar, whatever like that, I didn't want to smell like him, to be honest. But anyway, I doubled back later, years later, and I went back and got it. Jean Paul, this is the can. Um, this is a very unique smell, and it smells great. I'm not even going to lie to you. Ooh, I'm not even going to hold you. This particular... Cologne smells great. God darn it. But um, it's a, it, it smells great. For anybody who on their grown man, you got to have a bottle of cologne. You got to, you know, stay fresh. You got to make a woman, you know, come to you. You know, me personally, short story, I was walking through Walmart and a woman kept following me and I'm turned around. She was just like, I'm like, can I help you? She was like, you just smell so great. I, I just, I, I had to walk behind you. And so she asked me to cologne, and I told her, and she was like, she was going to get her husband to cologne. But anyway, this is the bottle. This cologne, I'm telling you, ain't one. You know, as soon as you wear it out, they're going to be all over you. I'm a big, um, I do scents, you know, I do cologne. So I've been doing cologne for a long time, you know, as a youth, you know. I mean, my father always told me that um, a woman going to love a man as long as he got a haircut. And he got some nice smell you know so step the game up for the, for the young ones out there you know uh so they're just giving me a word of advice to my fellow bros and lows so that is what i have on my mannequin also smell good so the cop the vintage cop i had to go put it in a uh, cleaners before i just put it out like for youtube and all my people to see but anyway it is a vintage rugby shirt very nice. Um, I think I went to Poshmark and I paid like 30 bucks for it. It's very nice. It has a flaw, but I'm not mad. You know, it is what it is. But um, it has a stain right there. Yeah, it's a little bit, but for the price I paid for it, I really can't get mad. I want to say I gave like 30 bucks for it. Me and the seller came to an agreement for 30 bucks. So 
Yeah, very nice. Has a number 10 on the back. And I love it because it's that classic rugby um, vibe with the blue and the white. But this right here, what caught me was the Burgundy R. Very dope. And I, you know, wanted to rock with it. So that's the cop of the week. Also, my big bro, uh, Big Boo, salute, two L's up, came out with a book, Ralphie's Kids. Um, if you know anything about the culture and the lows of my bros, um, yeah, it is a book of knowledge and a book into the minds and the sight lines of people who didn't come from you necessarily your area and the way they grew up a long time ago. And just wanted to give a little insight on, uh, if anybody knows the thing about the low lives and my bros, you know, that book is a must cop. If you want to know anything about the culture, get that book. You know, I'm giving a shout out to my big bro. Um, I need to hit him up, congratulate him on his, uh, his book, because of course I'm going to support my bros, period. So, with that being said, I'd like to thank everybody for coming to Maurice's Polo Review Channel. Subscribe, like, if you go on IG, follow me at MO underscore 55. I throw a lot of deals on um, IG that I find on Poshmark or eBay. You know, I'm not being sponsored by neither one of them, even though I should. Um, also, if you're looking for any type of uh, polo, anything of that nature, especially when it comes down to the new stuff, um, I have a few connections. Um, Polo, Woodstock um, outlet. I have a friend out there by the name of Jessica. She's, um, I believe she's the assistant store manager. And uh, she'll, you know, she'll look out, you know what I'm saying? She's very, Jessica will help anybody who is looking for Polo. You know what I mean? It's all about the culture and the people and us helping each other. So with that being said, I thank each and every one of you for coming to Morris' Polo Review Channel. Um, is there, if there's anything you want to discuss or any ideas that you want to give me, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm open to suggestions, you know, and, um, that's about it. So salute to everybody out there in YouTube world.